Hey, good morning. I'm Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. The title of this video is How to Prepare for a Job. Right now, we are located at two duplexes being erected side by side, total of four units, detached garages. Um, the entire project is under contract. We're ready to rock next week. And I want to walk you through the preparation sequence so that you have a complete mindset of what's going into the preparation to lay the groundwork for a successful project because that's where the project starts. It doesn't start when you pull your tool bag out of the truck. It starts weeks before when all the expectations are being established. It starts weeks before when all the communication and groundwork is being laid. And I want to take your mind through that process, start to finish, not necessarily in sequential fashion, but I'll do the very best I can so that you have a big picture concept. I operate with big picture. I've got to understand the, the whole thing. I've got to understand the start, uh, the end from the beginning, and I want you to do the same thing. So, um, first of all, the contract is structured like this. Every unit, we have a total of four units, every unit is individually contracted with the scope of work defining exactly what is included in every room of the entire house. Every room of the house is broken out with clear deliverables. Switch, receptacle, light, smoke detector, appliance, anything that's included in that room is under that heading and if it's not included, it's excluded from the scope of work. So terms and conditions, really, really clear, completely laid out. If it's not in the contract, it's not included and it constitutes a change order. That's my expectation and that needs to be your expectation as well. Um, secondly, time frame, scheduling. Uh, everything falls apart when a schedule is not properly laid and maintained. So establishing time frame expectations right now can't do anything with less than three weeks notice. There's too much time spent mobilization, material acquisition, permitting. Um, we've got to have three weeks notice to effectively mobilize. So most contractors are not mobilizing with those, that same set of expectations. People are we, winging it in and out of job sites, day in, day out, and that causes chaos. You need to break the cycle, break those habits. Okay, and it's absolutely critical that there's a pre-construction walkthrough between our lead man and the customer's lead man, the contractor's lead man. We have to align those expectations in the field. Whatever has happened big picture, whatever has happened behind the scenes in the office, whatever promises have been made, all of those need to be fleshed out because this is where it's gonna take place. Right here on the job site, this is where the magic happens. And all those expectations, all the time frames, frames everything of importance needs to then be rehearsed and reestablished on the job. And that pre-construction walkthrough is vital. You can't show up to a project day one, no matter how good you are, and get a crew of three, four, five, six electricians working and busy in a time effective manner if you don't know exactly what's going on. If all the studs are not marked, if the room is not laid out, if the lighting has not been determined, there, there are a thousand different ways to cut a project. There are a hundred different places that a panel could be located in the home. Their code is all over that, what's compliant, what's non-compliant. You've got to rehearse this with the lead for the customer and the lead for us, the contractor, and it has to be totally laid out. So all expectations reestablished, regurgitated, and in black and white. 